Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Romaine. I am a children's book writer and illustrator. So many kids have asked me about the coronavirus. So I decided to do a little research and share some information that I got with you. Now, I spend a lot of time illustrating and making little pictures in my journal. This is my journal. I draw in it every day. It helps me with my stress. It helps me when I feel lonely. It helps me when I'm isolated like we are now during the virus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few little drawings and I'm going to show you what I've learned about this gross little virus that is just messing up every single day. My goodness, it's really driving everybody crazy. The corona is an ugly looking little virus that causes a disease called COVID-19. Ew, even the name sounds gross. Okay, so let me show you. Under a microscope, the virus looks like a spiky crown and a real ugly one at that. Viruses are such tiny little cooties that you can't see them with your own eyes. This unfriendly little thing has caused most people to stay at home from school and work and it's even stopped kids from going to their favorite places. The reason we have to stay at home for a little while is to stop people from passing the virus on to each other. The more we stay away from each other, the quicker we can get back to normal. I'll draw you an example of just how being close to people who have the virus can make it spread blinking jolly quick. Let's see. This is called isolation, which means staying at home and keeping away from people who may be infected. Sometimes people have the virus and they don't even know they're spreading it. I know it's a pain to be stuck at home but it's a very good way to keep families protected. The virus can give people a fever, dry eyes, an itchy cough, and sometimes people find it hard to breathe. You know, some people can stay at home to get better, but some people need to go to the hospital. I like drawing happy animals, and I'm glad to say that not many kids seem to be getting this virus, and if they do, it can be pretty mild which means a not-so-bad version. This poor guy has another illness. As you can see, he's not feeling very well. The coronavirus is worse for people who are much older or people who are already sick with something else, like this guy. The adults in your life know that if anyone in your family feels sick, and thinks it's the coronavirus, they can call a doctor for help. Yes, even bears can use cell phones these days. If you see a person wearing a face mask, like on the streets or even in a hospital, it does not mean they are sick. They may be protecting themselves and their family. Or, if they've been around a sick person, wearing a mask will help them to keep the virus from spreading. Ugh, this is not my best drawing. <laughs> Looks like this dude is a bank robber. Okay, for all of us to stay healthy and not to spread this nasty little booger, we need to wash our hands with soap and water often, at least for 20 seconds. Hey, sing a song like Happy Birthday or the Alphabet Song while washing. Wash after you've used the restroom or been in a place like a grocery store. Sneeze or cough into your elbows. Doctors tell people to do this because blocking the little droplets that spray out of our mouths and noses when we sneeze or cough is how we stop a sickness from getting into the air. We also need to avoid touching our faces. As my mommy always used to say, if you don't like your face, don't pick on your nose. It's normal to be afraid of things we don't quite understand, but I am happy to say there are tons of grown-ups out there who can help you if you have the virus or if you're worried or upset. Please talk to your family if you're stressed about this virus. Other people can help too, like doctors and nurses and teachers and medical specialists, 
and your friends. Grown-ups are weird, but most of the time they can help you feel safer and less stressed. By the way, you don't have to sit in a corner and be sad because of this virus. That would just make the bully virus so happy. Actually, happiness and laughter helps our bodies to stand up to that virus. So, wash your hands often, laugh a lot, stay away from people in public places, be kind to your brothers and sisters and family, and have as much fun as you can without making trouble. Oh, and draw a lot. It's fun and it's good for you. Take good care of yourself, look after your family, and have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.